2002 I just didn't know anybody didn't know anything about the Indian culture I just packed and sold my house and sold my belongings sold my I sell the clothes and today I got so many offers to support the furniture so furniture even yes there are few people are interested in buying furniture clothes and shoes Go to a little canvas, simple outfit. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying goodbye to my past. I didn't want anything to do with my past. And I came to India and not knowing anything about Indian culture, about um, what to do, what not to do, I started uh, uh, start the Mother Miracle School. The renovation of the old building started in September 2003 and we were planning to finish in five months. Construction was on schedule, children's bed and desk were built and ready to be delivered. Children's home and school roof was being constructed. So I start with um, nine children in my apartment and uh, in 2004 and uh, in 2005, I rented two rooms and started with 80 children and started afternoon program. So teaching English and computer and... Uh, Today, 2019, I have uh, more than 500 children, 55 employees in 50,000 square feet building. 2008, I met Mr. Yugesh. 
he came as a teacher to the school and then slowly uh, he get involved and he become another trustee. Okay. Could they know familiar with the If you're going for a good work, you need a good team. You need a good team to like you know to sustain that works. It's open is easy, sustain is difficult. Because open anybody can like lots of NGOs are here, but sustainability. We are new to this education field like 2008, 11 years. We are in this like LKG from class 11th, but we are beating from last five years, the top notch schools in Rishikesh, those who have an existence of 60 to 70 years. How? Because the love to the kids, what they bring to us, their words. Let's meet, meet my little munchkin, my little kids. When I look at them, I always think, oh my God, this little munchkin will be a coder one day. <laughs> so cute. I don't know, I just see them as a coder. <laughs> The motto kind of is uh, play, create and learn and children play with computer programs. They create drawings, animations, games, intelligent circuits, robots. That's the kind of range of creative activity that they have. And then they learn many, many different things. You know, they learn programming, they learn creative thinking, they learn logical thinking, they learn math, they learn uh, elements of physics like electronics and, and uh, robotics and so on. And then they also learn, you know, non-cognitive aspects like grit, which is a very important idea where children The food become a very expensive part of our program and uh, but I don't want to compromise <laughs> so I want to give them the same quality food uh, so from this year I'm focusing on um, uh, having a separate fundraising for our food program because not only we serve the all you can eat food to our children 500 children we also serve to 55 uh, staff and volunteers so it become a little bit more expensive than we have expected uh, we have three seatings so we divided the 500 kids divided by three so small kids sit first and the middle-aged kids and the high school sits together. They are not buying just to bow. 
If I'm not there, I'm in my office. But every child bow to the cook. They thank food for serving them. I have talked a lot about this with the children and I heard from the mouth of the children that if they were not studying in Mother Miracle School, they would sell lemon and soda water in a cart helping their mother in town. Being in Mother Miracle School gave us an opportunity to, to study, go to computer lab, be a coder, learn how to dance, how to play harmonia, and how appreciative they are. The Yugesh is a trunk of the tree. The teachers are the uh, branches of the tree, and the father mother are the leaves of the tree, and the children are the fruits of the tree, those beautiful red apple, cherry apple, and then the birds and butterfly are the volunteer and sponsors. And they call it Mother Miracle Family. It was a lot of challenge, a lot of difficulty. So every things which happen in my life, I take it as a life lesson. Oh,